My name is Bill McHugh. I moved to the city in 1994, and uh, I've been here ever since. Met my wife. My wife and I have been married. We're coming up on 19 years. We're pretty opposite in many ways. He's kind of an extrovert, and I'm uh, the introvert. We have two kids. One just turned 13, and the other is nine uh, in fourth grade. When I first got diagnosed, I was 44 years old. You know, you have one of those deer in headlight moments where you just really don't know what to do. It wasn't leukemia, it wasn't lymphoma, it wasn't all the ones you've heard of before. First thing was, how do I tell my wife? <laughs> how do I tell my mom? Um, what do I say? Um, it just, everything stops. And I really kind of kept thinking a lot of the time, what does this mean for the kids and how's it gonna affect them? Because they were pretty young at the time. At that first moment, it's like, you get all the technical jargon and you're like, ah, what do I do next? So the first thing you do, which is also the worst thing you can do, is look it up on the internet. Because the first thing you see is three to five years. And that's a whole different perspective on what you do with your life. You realize there's a time frame here and why waste part of that time frame? First of all, the MRMF is a community and they know so much and they've done so much and they get it. It provides people with connections, uh, but most importantly, the funds that it raised provides research that goes towards finding a specific cure. 10 drugs in 10 years, three of those happened last year. They now know, based upon results they've had from so many patients beforehand, that with this version of the disease, go in this direction. Now, I was diagnosed in 2008, and it's now 2016. I know there will be a cure in my lifetime. What I'm most grateful for is the fact that I am cancer-free right now. And I thank God every day for where I am and my current diagnosis and the fact that those guys, my kids, my family, I'll be there for them, I'll be there with them, and that this disease has not wrecked us.